Coming up next on Auto Show TV, we'll find out why the Honda Odyssey takes such a big share of the minivan market, plus the dangers and consequences of texting and driving. Also, an up-close look at the RAV4 from Colonial Toyota. And Auto Show TV heads to Galilee. Why not? It's Memorial Day weekend. That's all ahead on Auto Show TV. It's Auto Show TV. Well, good morning. I'm John Coletto. Welcome to Auto Show TV. It's Memorial Day weekend. We're starting today's show from Majestic Honda in Lincoln. You know, with families getting out on the roads more and more now this time of year, we thought this would be a good time to take a look at one of the top selling minivans in America, the Honda Odyssey. And you know, this is the minivan that provides the vacuum cleaner that's built in. You've probably seen the TV commercials, and we're going to put it through its paces in just a minute. This is Casey Martin. He's the sales manager here at Majestic Honda in Lincoln. You sell an awful lot of Honda Odysseys. What makes them so popular? What makes the Odyssey so popular is it's the top in its segment in almost every category. From performance, safety, reliability, technology, it's the best out there. Well, I know there's a lot that we're going to take a look at, but let's start with performance because all five models I know come with the 3.5 liter V6, which is a big engine, but it does provide good gas mileage. It absolutely does. Now Honda's going to a six-speed automatic transmission in all models, which gives you a 28 mile per gallon highway rating. John, before we go inside the Odyssey, I just want to describe to you what both the power sliding doors on the Odyssey. Good. Okay. Uh, if you want to open it for me, just pull the handle. You can also open it other ways. There's a power switch on the on the for the driver, and there's also buttons inside the vehicle here to open and close for the passengers nice. inside. One thing you'll notice right away, when the window is down on the vehicle, the door only goes back so far. The reason for that is for safety. If you have a child or an animal in the car, there's no danger of it getting stuck in between that opening. Nice. So it's, if the window is all the way up, the door will slide back a few inches more. Yep. Give you more room to get to the back seat. Built into the, the vehicle is a sunshade, which is nice to have for infants or for small children. Sure. Another safety feature with it, when the door closes, if something was to get caught, of course, it will sense it and, and reopen the door so nothing gets jammed. Yep. Also, if the fuel door is open, the sliding door will not work. So this way, if someone's fuel in the vehicle, if a child goes to open it, no matter what you do, this vehicle, this door will not open. So I know there's a lot of versatility back here. Tell us about the different seat configurations. Absolutely, John. One thing about the Odyssey is it's a true eight passenger vehicle. Um, some of the minivans only offer a seven. So that's right. another versatile, versatile feature of the Odyssey. Most people tend to not need an eight passenger every day. So the middle seat is fully removable. On top of that, this model in particular has a rear entertainment system available. Um, there's a model above this that also has one with a dual screen rear entertainment system. In Casey, behind the third row, there's still plenty of storage. Absolutely, even with the third row seat up, there's still plenty of storage. Let me show you. Okay, let's check it out. What's nice about the rear tailgate is you can open it by the remote. There's also a button on the rear of the hatch and there's also a button on the dashboard to open it as well. Where's yeah. the spare tire? The spare tire is actually in the floor in the middle row which is nice because it's inside the vehicle, so it's not gonna get all dirty. So if you do have a flat tire, you don't have to worry about getting a very dirty tire that's been mounted under the vehicle for years. Nice. Show us how the third row can disappear. The Honda Magic Seat. Very, very simple. Pull up and let it fall. Swoop. You, you do it better than me. <laughs> look at that. That's it. Now look at all the amount of storage space you have now. All right, so now the second row seat configurations, and there are many. There are. Um, the most common, if you do leave it as an eight passenger, very easy pass through to the third seat. All you do is grab this handle, oh, excuse me, slide it forward. Plenty of room. Plenty of room yep. for a, even an adult to yep. squeeze into the back seat. Sure. When you're all set, slide the seat back where you'd like it, put it back up. And the seat comes out all together. All three seats can be removed. Uh, the middle row seat removes a little differently. There's two main straps. You lift up and the, the seat will completely remove. Now another nice feature on the EX and above models is what they call push start ignition. Uh, you do not have a keyhole on the outside of the vehicle. There is just a lock button. I just locked the vehicle. Yep. You have to have the FARB with you, of course, or within proximity. But what's nice is when you want to lock the door, just put your hand inside, the door's unlocked. Very nice. Another technological feature, more of a safety feature, is Honda has lane watch on EX models and above. This is a small camera that when you put your right directional on, 
on the screen on the dash will show you your blind spot. So before you swerve over, you can actually see if there's a vehicle in the lane before you proceed. Another really nice safety feature on all five models is a backup camera. Uh, it's standard on all models and it really helps because the visibility, because the height of the vehicle is a bicycle or a kid's toys behind the vehicle, it's very easy to see. Yep. Next safety feature, lane departure warning system. It's only available on the upper models, but what it does is it actually has a camera that follows the lines of the highway. And if you're swerving in and out of the lanes without using a directional, it'll beep and warn you. Casey, I haven't even uh, asked you about the Honda VAC. Absolutely, it's what a cool feature. It's only available in the Touring Elite model, but what an awesome feature. No other minivan has it, and what a great tool. So here's where the Honda VAC is located, right here on the side. Now this is the Touring Elite model of the Honda Odyssey. So here's the VAC. It's actually made by Shop VAC, and you probably heard of Shop VAC. They do wet dry VACs. There's 10 feet of hose. We'll take it right out and we'll take out the attachment. We'll use this one, okay, for demonstration purposes. Here's the button to turn it on. I mean, it feels like there's a lot of suction here. I have my official uh, concoction of childhood debris, kids debris, you can see that. Let's see how well this works. Really good, excellent. So here we are in the front seat, here's my debris field and look at this plenty of hose to pick up all the way up to the front seat floor all right so let's put it away now we we'll shut it off put the uh, attachment back there let's see how well I can recoil this and get it to fit plenty of room in this little compartment put it right in and close it up, done. And I wanna show you too that this is where everything goes. So everything is kinda of caught right in here. It's uh, very easy to clean. Everything goes in this yellow bag and very easy to clean it out every once in a while, I'm sure. And that just put a new bag in Clip that back into place, go like this. How easy is that? Well, Casey, we learned a lot about the Honda Odyssey this morning. I know there's a lot of moms and dads who have said to themselves over the years, I'm not gonna become a minivan person, we're not gonna get, but after you see this, and maybe people come down to Majestic for a test drive and they really get an idea of what the Odyssey is, I think you're gonna have some converts. Absolutely. Uh, the Odyssey the, has the stigma of the minivan, but when you see all the versatility, the safety, the performance, and then the cost of ownership of the vehicle, really helps to convert people over to the minivan. Yeah, talk a little bit about the cost of ownership, because that's big. Absolutely. Uh, you know, some vehicles, that people see the initial purchase price of the vehicle. The real key is cost of ownership, which is the, over a five, six, seven year period, how much it costs to maintain the vehicle, uh, how much it costs in terms of reliability, but number one is resale value, which is the largest factor for that, is based on uh, fleet sales. Honda does not do fleet sales, or very limited, uh, compared to these comp competition. Yeah. So over a five year period, the Odyssey is the lowest cost of ownership minivan on the market. And great deals at Majestic. Absolutely, Majestic's been in business for 40 years. We've got two great locations in Rhode Island, one in Lincoln and one in West Warwick. And you won't find the nicer Honda dealership to do business. Coming up, texting and driving, and a look at the RAV4. You're watching Auto Show TV. The official auto loan provider of Auto Show TV is Navigant Credit Union for all your new, used, and classic car and truck financing needs. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Hmm. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. 
The Express Lane is now open at Elmwood Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Get your oil change done fast and done right. No appointments, no waiting, and no worries. Just drive in. We have a lane dedicated to express service for your convenience. The Express Lane is your best choice for vehicle maintenance. We service all makes and models anytime, any day. The Express Lane at Elmwood Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram is waiting for you. 625 Taunton Avenue, East Providence, Rhode Island, or online at ElmwoodCDJR.com. Hey, Jeff here at Village Motors with exciting news. We have over 100 vehicles in stock, all competitively priced and come with an additional five-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Here's an example. Purchase this Toyota Solara with 76,000 miles, and you'll have coverage till 2018 or 176,000 miles. So hurry down, pick your vehicle, and add an additional five years and 100,000 miles to its current mileage. So visit us and experience why we have become Rhode Island's largest certified pre-owned dealer. Village Motors, a higher standard and pre-owned dealer. Next time you fake wearing your seatbelt, remember this. Cops have been trained to spot seatbelt violations even at night. And they don't give out fake tickets, day or night, click it or ticket. From time to time on Auto Show TV, we'd like to cover the topic of automotive safety. I found someone to help us present these safe driving messages, Providence Attorney Lawrence Signori. We share concern for drivers who make irresponsible decisions behind the wheel. Go to his website and you'll see Attorney Signori is serious about keeping Rhode Island drivers safe. Well, what started it all is as we're practicing law and personal injury, we started to notice an uptick in reading the police reports of witness statements saying that I was unable to stop or I was distracted and they end up rear-ending the person and hitting the person in front of them. And as you start to have, as the case progresses, you start to find out as attorneys, as personal injury attorneys, that people are texting and driving. And when I see people out texting and driving, you think of your children in school buses, you think of your young teenage drivers, you think of your parents. You're an attorney, but this is personal. It has become personal, it has. When people get hit um, and people you know have that near miss or that near collision, and you look down and someone is texting and driving, it's almost as though someone is, it, when you see someone weaving, they're either drunk driving or more often than not texting and driving. It's tough to legislate against bad behavior, isn't it? Well, as the current Rhode Island law stands now, it's an $85 fine and it's a high threshold to prove that someone was actually receiving and or transmit, transmitting uh, um, digital data. So basically, the texting and driving statute is hard to enforce and there isn't a lot of teeth behind it. Legislating is one thing, it's, it's, it's education. We just, we just have to get people to stop doing this. Well, I think it's a collaborative approach. You have to have legislation and the public officials to make people, the general public, aware that this is a real problem that affects just about everybody on the road. And then you need an educational component starting with school children or particularly children that are starting to drive, driver's education. And what I would like people to understand that the National Institutes of Health tell us that the time it takes to read a text message is approximately two, two and a half seconds. When you're traveling at 60 miles an hour on the highway, you travel almost two to two and a half football lengths while receiving a text message. An awful lot can happen. The other thing that is shocking to me is that you're 20, per the National Institutes of Health, you're 23 times more likely to be involved in a car accident while you are distracted driving. The correlation is, according to the National Institutes of Health, is you're 25% more likely to be involved in a car accident if you've been drinking and driving. Drinking and driving and texting and driving are almost statistically the same in terms of increased probability of being involved in an automobile accident. If you're paying attention to the road, uh, there's less likely of a chance of you hitting someone. I'm Ashley Fishback. This morning, Auto Intelligence visits Colonial Toyota in Smithfield, and we check out the 2014 Toyota RAV4. 
Call it whatever category you want, small SUV, compact crossover, or crossover SUV. The 2014 Toyota RAV4 earns high praise from all major reviewers and places it high in their rankings yet again. Auto Intelligence likes the RAV4's style, interior room, peppy 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine, and smooth six-speed automatic transmission. The RAV4 boasts three models, and each comes in either front wheel or all wheel drive. I'm here with Amanda Sperry at Colonial Toyota. Amanda, I see RAV4s everywhere. Can you tell me about some of the features that make this car so desirable? Well, the RAV4 has a dynamic torque control all wheel drive system so that makes it super safe for people here in New England. It also has noise reducing acoustic front windshield, which makes it quieter in the cabin. Talk about the engine and the fuel economy. Well, this is going to be a four-cylinder engine. You're going to receive 176 horsepower with 172 foot-pounds of torque. You're going to get great gas mileage with this vehicle, 22 city and 29 highway. This new generation looks great, and I love this color blue. Yeah, this is Shoreline Blue in the Limited RAV4. Uh, you have a lot of great features, such as the LED headlamps. You have fog lamps, 18-inch alloy wheels, as well as adjustable roof racks, which make it a really nice, versatile vehicle. All right, Amanda, let's take a walk around back. So tell us about the height adjustable power lift gate. Well, it is fully adjustable, which is really nice, um, especially for people who are short like myself. <laughs> uh, it's very easy to be able to touch. Um, so when it's fully up, it can stop at a certain point, depending on your height and what you'd like. And as you can see, <laughs> we got Teddy in the back. We're gonna put Teddy down for a moment. Bye, Teddy. <laughs> So back here, as you can see, we have plenty of cargo capacity. You can fit plenty of luggage back here, especially with a family of four going on a nice trip. Um, you also do have a tonneau cover, which is spring-loaded, which can be Sorry. taken out or put up. So it can cover things from getting either too hot or from prying eyes that you might not want somebody to see what you have in the back. As well as underneath, we do have our spare tire um, with all the things that you need to change a tire. And then up here, we can close the lift gate with just a touch. That's easy. These seats are really comfortable and they seem really durable. Yeah, they are soft tech seats. They're very easy to clean, low maintenance, as well as an eight-way power driver's seat for extra comfort. They are heated as well which make it very convenient, especially in the winter. That's great, and I see that the steering wheel has some fun buttons to play with too. Can you tell yeah. me about those? Yeah, um, very simple and easy to use. Audio controls are on your left-hand side, Bluetooth controls are on your right-hand side, as well as the steering wheel is a tilt telescopic steering wheel, so it's easy adjustable for all different sizes. So Ashley, as you can see, we have a well-lit instrument panel, as well as a small LCD screen, which gives you a whole bunch of different displays, which you can change by hitting the display button on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. It'll give you average miles per an hour, your odometer, trips, as well as economy, which is very helpful. And now tell me about this touch screen right here. It's all touch. If you go ahead and hit apps for me, hit OK, and then go to your setup. And then go ahead and click on home screen. Right here is how you can make a fully customizable home screen from a two panel to a three panel, depending on what features are most important for you. So if you wanna go ahead and change it to a three panel, just by hitting three panel on the bottom, and let's say we wanna change the phone. So if you wanna go ahead and tap on phone, and let's go ahead and put eco up. Now, this is what our home screen's gonna look like. So if you wanna go ahead and press okay in the bottom right, and this is what it'll look like. And they'll see the backup camera here as well. Yes, yeah, so if you want to go ahead and put your foot on the brake and go ahead and put it in reverse. Oh, that's nice and clear. Yeah, it makes it very nice for you to be able to see what's behind you as well as a nice line um, to show you how close you are to your rear bumper. So Ashley, the RAV4 comes in three different trim levels. You have an LE, XLE, and Limited, which we're in today. In the XLE and the Limited, it comes standard with a power moonroof. Tell me a little bit more about the specials that are going on right now for the RAV4. Well, we have a $169 a month lease special for 24 months with $2,900 due at signing plus taxes and fees, which is a really great deal. It's a great deal. Oh yeah, and you also have uh, available 0% financing for qualified buyers as well. 
Um, we have all different colors and trim levels available in stock today, ready to be seen and driven, and I can't wait for you to come down. So it's easy to see why the Toyota RAV4 is auto intelligence recommended. So do what I did. Check out the RAV4 and take a test drive here at Colonial Toyota in Smithfield, the place to buy or lease a Toyota. They're Auto Show TV's Toyota experts. Come join us under the gateway to savings at the new Colonial Toyota and join our mascot, Teddy. And remember, make us your last stop for your best deal. Colonial! Next, a little road trip down to Galilee. You're watching Auto Show TV. Back in 1981, my dad, my brother and I started International Motor Group because we had a passion for cars. A lot of people think car buying is stressful, but it doesn't have to be. We can handle the financing, no matter what your credit situation, we handle the warranty, and we also get the car registered for you. We keep a wide variety of cars. It's very enjoyable when I can hand the keys to somebody that's buying a car for the first time. Not many people can say they love going to work. I can. You love everything about your new ride. It smells so good. But maybe you could be paying a little less for it. It's not too late, you know. Let Navigant Credit Union take a look at your rate. We could help you refinance and maybe save you a little every month. What could you do with the extra money? Huh. Road trip, maybe? Navigant Credit Union. Enjoy life's journey. Why choose Sandy Motors? Well, we've been here since 1988, and here at Sandy Motors, we go above and beyond with our customers. They don't ever have to worry about the condition the vehicle's in, or if they got the vehicle for a good price. We offer financing here at Sandy Motors through many different lenders, so our customers can get the best rate as possible. It's great seeing repeat customers and new customers that have been referred by their friends who've purchased vehicles, and we love getting compliments. We believe in honesty here at Sandy Motors. That's why we're a step above the rest. Hi, I'm Jim Melvin from Melvin's Tire Pros, celebrating 40 years of family-owned service excellence. We've been Southern New England's premier tire retailer offering fast, competent service. At Melvin's Tire Pros, everything rotates around you. We guarantee the lowest price on all brands of tires, but you'll also get fast in and out service while you wait. All backed by the industry's strongest warranty, featuring free roadside assistance. Melvin's Tire Pros, where buying tires is never a hassle. It's time for our pre-owned segment now on Auto Show TV. We're at Stamus Auto and Truck Center in Cranston. You know Bill Cattles, he's been on the show many, many times. Tell us about your selection. You always have great cars. You always have a lot of trucks for our viewers. We're very selective, as well as the vehicle itself and the pricing. The pricing is just as important. We try to stay up on the three percentile as far as the selling price, which brings a lot of our people in. Uh, in saying this, let's get on with the show. Let's check out some of the vehicles you've picked out for us today. Summertime is finally here. For all you convertible enthusiasts, we're going to start off with this 2005 Mitsubishi Spider, automatic, leather. The biggest thing about this vehicle, in a vehicle search, you cannot find one of these vehicles for 200 miles away from us in the state of New Jersey. Vehicle runs absolutely brand new. You can actually have this vehicle for $84.50. Our next vehicle is this 2011 Ram 1500 Laramie. This vehicle is absolutely, absolutely brand new. Only 48,000 miles. This truck, green, with the accent gold trim. You can see the nice big chrome wheels on the vehicle. Does have leather, sunroof, navigation, heated seats. You name it, it has it. Come down today, drive it, you'll buy it. This vehicle can be purchased at $28,995 with a retail value of over $34,000. And our last featured vehicle today is this 2009 Mustang GT 45th Anniversary Edition. Five speed, one owner, blue, you see the racing stripe, the fancy bullet wheels. In fact, it could actually be a bullet edition. This vehicle is royal blue, black interior, like I said, a five-speed and a one-owner. You can save over $4,000 on this vehicle. Anyone that's pressing for a nice little fancy vehicle to be driving a sports type, this is the vehicle for you. 
Bill, great job as always. What else would you like to tell the viewers before we go? Well, John, our new summertime hours, before we used to be open from 8.30 to 7 in the morning, we are open now until 8 o'clock in the evening. Our Saturday hours still remain the same, 8.30 to 5, and Sundays, 12 to 4 in the afternoon. You can also join us on the web, which is stamusauto.com, and our phone number is 401-946-9594. Thank you. From Auto Intelligence, here are three car buying tips you can take to the bank. Don't buy more than you need. Do you need the most power in every option? Don't buy a big V8 pickup when you really need a small commuter car. Don't fumble on the trade-in. Know what your car is worth and negotiate the value of the trade as a separate step in the process. Don't skip the test drive. Be thorough and pay attention to the comfort of the seats, visibility and blind spots, easy access to all the controls or a rough ride. And take the competing models for a test drive too. Of course, it's Memorial Day weekend. Everybody is out and about having a great time, and we thought we'd take Auto Show TV out on the road as well. We came down here to beautiful Galilee to do two things, get some chowder and clam cakes, and to talk about cars. Tell us about your first car. My very first car was a brown 1972 Ford Gran Torino up the girls with that? A few, actually, yeah. yeah. Good success? Yeah. It was, yes, <laughs> yes. 1956 Ford Fairlane. It ran one day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Tell me about your first car. I had a 37 Ford with mechanical brakes. Hold on, I'm gonna come out here with you. Come on, right out here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Oh, this is good. We got the ferry right behind there us. Go. Hey! You're waving. You're having a good time. Hey. <laughs> was that a three banger on the column? That yeah. kind of a. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it was. Yeah, yeah. the old H pack. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. My first car was a uh, Valiant with the push button. Oh yeah. <laughs> Transmission. Yep. I bore off my brother for a buck. Push buttons, you know, for first, second, yep. third and a slide for, uh, for Park. 1951 Ford, and it had a strange noise. And I was a cheerleader at Cranston High School East, and um, I used to wait for him to come pick me up, and I could hear him coming down Reservoir Avenue, Park Avenue, because it was a whirly bird sound. <laughs> like that. Yeah, we bought a, uh, a brand new Plymouth Roadrunner. Nice. For $3,200. And that was brand, <laughs> brand new? Brand new. Yeah. yeah. Good yeah. for you. We took it over to Europe with us. To Europe? Yeah. Yeah. I was in the Air Force at the time and uh, shipped it over there and drove down the Autobahns. Thought I was doing fast when I was doing 100 and uh, there was a, uh, a car coming up behind me flashing the lights. <laughs> so I moved over and it was a, a Porsche and it went by me like I was standing still. My second car was a GTO. So. Nice, a Goat. <laughs> 69 Goat. So were I, you high school sweethearts? I, we were. Now, did you guys ever hop in the back seat? Be honest. No, no. not in the back seat, no. No, no, no we, but we, we accomplished a lot in the front seat. <laughs> <laughs> this has been Auto Show TV, produced in cooperation with Auto Intelligence. Thanks to our participating dealers and sponsors. This has been Auto Show TV.